All CEOs should know these tech startups by 2025. Today, I'm going to talk about startups that are racing for the top spot in their respective industries. So if you're a tech executive or a CEO and you're looking to keep an eye on the next generation of tech startups, this video is for you. This startup has absolutely insane growth. It's called Open Space AI. Open Space AI is a construction tech company that specializes in reality capture and AI powered analytics for construction sites. Founded in 2017 and headquartered in San Francisco, the company primarily targets construction firms firms, general contractors, and owners looking to improve site documentation, reduce risk, and streamline project workflows. OpenSpace uses advanced image technology and AI to automatically generate navigable photo representations of job sites. It's pretty cool. All you need to do is attach a camera, record inside their app, and it maps your photos to plans instantly so you can view your final images in 15 minutes. Throughout your digital walkthrough, you can also take live field notes to communicate changes or document QA. They already have a pretty impressive user base of 186,000 people across 93 countries. While there haven't been a ton of reviews yet, the ones that I've seen coming in are pretty promising. The company has already stacked over $200 million in funding as of their Series D round. Super interesting application for AI tech, so definitely keep an eye on this company. Okay, next up. This startup has 850% growth in just two years and take a look at that search volume. It's called CopyLeaks. CopyLeaks is a plagiarism detection and content authentication platform. When you submit your work, it uses advanced AI and machine learning algorithms to scan billions of web pages, academic journals, and other digital content to ensure originality. It's mainly targeted at educators, students, publishers, and businesses seeking to protect their own IP and maintain higher standards of academic writing. Now, zooming out a bit, CopyLeaks is an example of a startup that is super important as we enter this new era of AI. Platforms that can spot plagiarism and identify AI-generated content are more important now than ever. Now that all these platforms can pull in information from billions of sources all at once. It can even detect source code plagiarism, which is really important now that a lot of these AI-assisted code generators are becoming almost a secondhand tool for developers. They've already stacked over 7 million in funding as of their Series A round, but just take a look at this growth chart. Now as AI technology advances, we can only expect to see more tools like copy leaks that identify duplicate or AI generated content, as I can safely assume that most of us would generally like to know whether something has been authentically created or not. Next up, we've got a startup with some insane five year growth, even hitting 270% growth in the last 12 months alone. It's called Perplexity AI. Perplexity AI is an AI powered research and Q&A tool. Think of it as a super smart assistant that can answer questions and explain things clearly. They use AI tech to break down complex topics, making it simple for anyone to get the information they need without having to dig through a ton of complicated material. Now, naturally, I wanted to know what was different about this one from GPT or any other AI-powered tool. What I found was actually pretty interesting. Unlike traditional search engines that rely on keywords, Perplexity AI focuses on understanding your intent. It analyzes your query, the context of your previous interactions, and your overall knowledge base to determine what you're truly seeking. In my opinion, this is really what search engines have been missing, understanding my preferences and intent to get me the answers that that I'm really looking for. Unlike traditional search engines that will give you the information from multiple sources one after the other, Perplexity AI goes beyond just websites and traditional search results. It taps into a vast array of sources, including academic journals, industry reports, and even social media discussions to provide you with a well-rounded perspective on any topic. I wanted to test it to see how it would respond to a more specific request. So I asked it how somebody should learn to code in JavaScript if they have only about 15 hours a week to dedicate to that project. Overall, I was really happy with the results. It gave me simple, comprehensive steps with links attached to each step so I can actually get through these one at a time. All in all, Perplexity AI is ideal for researchers, students, and professionals seeking quick, reliable answers to complex questions. They have already pulled in over 160 million as of their Series B round. And honestly, I don't see this one slowing down anytime soon. Searches for this tech startup have grown 9,800% in the past two years and it's called Simplex Chat. Simplex Chat is a comprehensive messaging platform designed to facilitate communication and collaboration within teams and organizations. It offers a big range of features like real-time messaging, file sharing, and integration with various productivity tools, which makes it a versatile solution for enhancing workplace efficiency. Simplex Chat was created to address this demand that teams have for encrypted and safe communication. Now, keep in mind, Simplex Chat is riding this larger wave of cybersecurity 
and data privacy. Google search traffic actually shows a 217% increase in cybersecurity technology trends since the start of COVID. Additionally, according to a report put out by the US government, over 4,000 ransomware attacks happen every single day. So in an age where user data is shotgunned across the internet and difficult to keep track of who has it, Simplex Chat came to basically put the power back in people's hands to control their own data. And the goal there is to make sure that third parties cannot take advantage of it or sell it. Some interesting things about this one, while other apps have user IDs, Simplex does not, not even random numbers. So that improves privacy by keeping individual users completely anonymous. Now let's get even more specific. All the messages are encrypted. All packets sent by Simplex are padded with fake data to prevent packet size analysis by ISPs, malicious relays, or malicious networks. All files and media, except videos as of v5.3, are encrypted with random, symmetric key when stored locally, providing forward secrecy even for files saved to your phone. Freedom Tech has said it's a fantastic tool and it's rapidly becoming a go-to in the privacy and security communities. Now, Simplex Chat has already raised around 370k as of their pre-seed funding round. But given the demand for solutions that protect your data and your privacy, I would say the future looks pretty bright for Simplex Chat. So keep an eye on this one for sure. This next tech startup has an impressive growth of 300% over the past two years, and it's called Podcastle. Podcastle was founded in 2020 with the mission of democratizing podcast creation. For example, let's say that you want to create a podcast for yourself or for your own business, but you don't have a technical background and you don't really know where to start. Podcastle is a platform created just for you. It offers a really cool and comprehensive set of tools for podcast creation that are really easy for somebody who's never really worked with video or audio editing and creation before, from recording all the way to editing and publication. Let's take a closer look. They've got a really cool and user-friendly interface with a big range of features like a virtual recording studio, audio and video editing features, AI-generated voices, and a hosting hub. One of the key highlights of Podcastle, which is something you probably guessed, is their integration of AI tech. It helps podcasters enhance the quality of the audio, transcribe episodes, and even create content from text, making the production process more simple and efficient. So yes, the platform, the technology is impressive, it's cool, but why is the startup blowing up so much right now? First off, as you might have guessed, COVID-19 really impacted the industry of podcasting by quite a bit. You can see from this search growth that it took a big spike right around the time that the pandemic really took over. With lockdowns and social distancing measures in place, people turned to podcasts for entertainment. In fact, around the globe, there are more than 400 million podcast listeners who tune in to all sorts of different kinds of content. And just as we've seen AI doing this for coding and other industries, it's helping lower the barrier to entry for anybody who wants to get into podcast creation themselves. Given that Podcastle started in 2020 when the pandemic hit, building a new community of podcast creators and leveraging AI tech, they've definitely hit the trifecta when it comes to building a successful tech company right now. So what does the future look like for this one? In addition to their organic growth, they have already secured over $22 million in Series A funding. Given their big financial backing and their giant growth trajectory online, I would say that this one is only poised for more growth. So if you or somebody you know is looking to start a podcast, or if you're just interested in this industry, in this space, definitely keep an eye on Podcastle in the coming year. All right. Next up, searches for this next tech startup have grown 213% over the past two years, and it's called AppRight. AppRight is a back-end as a service company based in Tel Aviv. Designed to simplify the back-end development process, AppRight offers a suite of tools and services that enable developers to build secure and scalable applications quickly and efficiently. And for those of you who don't have a coding background like myself, essentially AppRight helps developers by providing them with these ready-made building blocks for app development. Think of it as a toolkit that handles the more complex parts of building an app, like user accounts, data storage, security. So so developers don't have to create these tools from scratch. That makes it way faster and easier for developers to build and launch apps, even if they're working with a small team or alone on a project. AppRight supports multiple programming languages and frameworks, which makes it super versatile and accessible for a wide range of developers and development needs. So yes, it's a super cool tool, but why is it blowing up right now? First off, the demand for streamlined backend development processes has grown exponentially recently. There has been this massive rise in cloud-based solutions integrated into apps, which means the demand for solutions like AppRight that make this backend process much easier for developers has also grown like crazy. And in fact, the backend as a service market size is estimated to grow by 6.9 billion at an annual rate of 23% between 2023 and 2028. And this growth is also largely driven by the rising adoption of mobile apps. If you look at pretty much any app that anybody uses now,
now, mobile usage usually surpasses desktop usage by quite a bit. An important thing to also mention here is that AppWrite is an open source program. This means that the source code is public so anybody can view it or modify it, which really helps to communicate transparency, but also gives you the chance to customize it for your individual needs. And again, with the theme of cybersecurity, there is a huge emphasis that AppWrite puts on end-to-end -end encryption and multi-factor authentication, which ensures the developers can build secure programs from the ground up. Now, overall, the reviews for AppWrite have been pretty positive. AppWrite has already raised $37 million as of their Series A funding round. And with the ongoing expansion of the Bass market and the increasing reliance on cloud-based solutions, AppWrite's platform and user-friendly interface is only set to continue growing. If you're a developer or an entrepreneur and you're looking for a platform to help you streamline the back-end development process, definitely keep an eye on AppWrite because it is set to continue growing. All right, 7,000% growth in two years. That insane search growth belongs to Optory. Optory is a data privacy management service that helps individuals identify and remove their personal data from various data brokers and websites. They provide a really comprehensive solution that automates the process of finding and deleting your personal information. Things like your home address, your phone number, and other private info from over 330 websites. When you sign up, they give you a personalized exposure report so you can see who has your data already, and once you join, they remove it for you automatically. With cybercrime increasing exponentially over the past few years, tools like this are nothing short of crucial. According to a study conducted by Comparatech, over 71 million people are victims of cybercrime every year. Further, the number of cyber attacks has continued to increase year over year. If platforms like Optory can reduce those numbers even a little bit, then they're absolutely worth it and invaluable to all of us. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to see any specific videos, let me know and I'll make one just for you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.